She gave us soulful ballads, iconic riffs, and classic songs that stood the test of time. But today, the world bids goodbye to a legend who commanded the industry for decades and completely rewrote the rules of music in her time. The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, has died at the age of 76. This comes after the Motown legend, known for timeless hits like Respect, A Natural Woman, and Chain of Fools, reportedly fell ill in her hometown of Detroit. Sources say she was surrounded by friends and family in hospice care. She was also reportedly visited by Motown Royal Stevie Wonder and Reverend Jesse Jackson before her death. With a career spanning six decades, Franklin shot to fame in the late 60s after signing to Atlantic Records. Before then, she found moderate success singing gospel for Columbia Records and at her father's church. Aretha is one of the top female vocalists of all time, with at least 112 singles on the American Billboard chart and more than 42 studio albums. She was also the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. Her first number one on Billboard for Respect also earned her her first of 18 Grammys. But behind all the success, Franklin fought a private battle with her health. Aside from fluctuating weight and a history of chain smoking until 1992, the iconic singer has denied reports of pancreatic cancer for the past decade. It wasn't until last year Franklin announced she will be stepping down from touring under doctor's orders. Her last known performance was at Elton John's private gala for AIDS last November. Another milestone in Franklin's career included singing at the inaugurations of three American presidents, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama. Her performance at Obama's first inauguration in 2009 is regarded by several historians as a landmark moment in U.S. history. You better think, think, think about what's trying to do to me, yeah. Franklin was twice divorced and leaves behind four sons. She gave birth to her first in 1955 at the tender age of 12 years old. An all-star tribute concert to Franklin is scheduled at Madison Square Garden later this year. Tributes from artists are pouring in, like Mariah Carey and Beyonce and Jay-Z, who dedicated their latest tour stop in Detroit to the Queen of Soul before she passed. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.